the hot girl walks out, and it's Ginger. Hi, I'm Ginger. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Immediately we had a secret handshake. I'm Ginger Z. A mild Times Square this morning, a temperature already 44. And I'm Ben Aaron. Is it comfortable for two? It is. And this is how we met. <laughs> this is where we met. This is where, yeah. it, this is the room. Exactly. You yeah. still smell it. Yeah, smell it. That's, it smells that's like us. Fresh love. Fresh, mm. <laughs> the name of our Cinemax movie. A new cologne coming out soon. <laughs> yeah, fresh love. I had been to SoulCycle a lot, and I was going to SoulCycle to support Robin Roberts, who was in treatment for cancer at the time. I really went to go meet David Muir, <laughs> actually. So I, I didn't know anybody, so I brought a friend of mine, Amy Fries, who's a meteorologist on WABC. Oddly, Amy and I lived in the same building right. here in New York. You were in the front Yeah, so next I'm to always David. in the front. Like, I've been in the front of the classroom since I was, you know, too young. And Amy. I was here. Yeah. Pretty much facing so the corner. This is pretty much like it. This. <laughs> he says that he noticed me. You had great triceps, I noticed, because you're really showing those things off. The class ended, and then we're like, let's go. So I'm here, I'm waiting for Amy Freeze. By the way, I don't remember any of these details. I remember every single <laughs> thing. I remember every <laughs> no, single thing. I do. Go, 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 okay. go, go. Right. She goes, by the way, my friend is going to join me. And I'm like, please be that hot girl. And it's Ginger. So then Ginger and I start talking. Yeah. And Amy's back there. <laughs> I mean, poor Amy. We just continue talking yeah. and talking and talking. And we're going all the way across Central Park, and I realize, because I'm really good with directions, that we're not even close to going the right way most no. of the time. No, no, no. He's horrible with directions, but I'm like, I don't want to correct him because, first of all, he's been in New York his whole life. It's I my just town. got here. He was totally lost, right. and it took us uh, probably three times as long as it should have. Aren't you glad though? Because then we were able to talk about everything. And I was thinking, there's no way this girl's single. There's no chance. That's what that I was this thinking the whole single. time. I'm thinking he's not single. If he's straight, which was a question, Still is. Um, then he's definitely married and right. doesn't wear a ring. <laughs> That's shady. Yeah. That's shady. That was kind of what I was dealing with at the time. I texted Amy and I said, your friend Ginger's very nice. And she's like, I hope you don't mind. I gave her your email address. <laughs> so then I checked my email. And here was that email. Hi. I got home and stalked your last three stories on Facebook. You are a dream. Let's be friends. <laughs> Oh and I gosh. just didn't want to assume. So if you were gay, I wanted to be like, we should be friends. Right. I didn't want to just jump right in. Let's be friends. Yeah. I have none, she says. Uh, in New York City. And I think you and I would get along famously. Yes. Amy gave your email address. Hope that's okay. Seriously, though, nice to meet you. With an adorable little emoji, winky face smiley. And that was when my heart dropped into my face, and I was like, this is it. This, this is, I was a goner. I was a complete goner. Um, I was just wanting to be friends. <laughs> she still does. <laughs> so we're on the first date. We went to Lincoln Center. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. First kiss in the Lincoln Center fountain. Yep. And then we had banana pudding. It was awesome. We listened to music on the fountain together, and we watched people go by. Mm -hmm. And then went on two more dates of that. And then Ginger broke up with me. You always say broke up with, which is a really strong, just as strong as it is to think we were going out we at were that going time. Out. We, we were going out. We were We went on three dates. We that does not mean that you're in love. We were, we were kindred spirits. And who now were you know why I ended it. <laughs> I needed to cover a hurricane, okay? She had to cover a hurricane. So this girl who broke my heart into a million pieces is now on television 24 hours a day for the next like five days straight. A couple weeks pass. She watches TV and she sees me on TV and she texts me, I hate not having you in my life. Yeah. Which was very nice. So because I'm like, I'm I back. came to the fruition, I came to the realization that I didn't, I could allow you to come in a little bit. That a little would be bit. Okay. A little bit. Yeah. So we went out a couple times. This was great. I had my guard up about 40% because she already ripped my heart into a million pieces. A couple dates, two, three weeks, and then Ginger. <laughs> Breaks up with me again! <laughs> I did. <laughs> Broke up with me again. That one I'll give you. Right before like Christmas. Happy holidays, everybody. Right before Christmas. Okay. Takes my heart, turns it into a pile of holly. She did not deck my halls. Yeah. Two months pass. I'm done with this girl. I'm never talking to this girl again. This girl broke my heart. She does not deserve to have my contact information. I call her. No, I text her, actually. <laughs> Saw her on the news. She looked great. So I said, you Changed look, my hair. Your hair looks beautiful. And at this point, Ginger was ready to be loved. I was. 
had to evolve. And he's the first person that I respected so much and I do think loved because I think that's why I wanted to be ready. I wanted to be in the right place so that I wouldn't hurt you, so I wouldn't make a mistake. From that point when I was ready, then I think it was only seven, eight months and we were engaged. <laughs> Proposed her on the phone and Lincoln said we had our first date. Threw me off that he got me a ring in the first place because he does not like showy, gaudy, gaudy stuff. Opulent things. So. But you do. So. <laughs> I don't. It is a lovely love story. And it all started right here in, in New, New York, York City. City.